finishing off with our lip prepping. Pineapple mint lip balm from Jack Black. It's so good. It smells so good and so sweet. Now we're going to fix our face. We're going to prep it first, though. We have e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. My fave. Just little dollops across the face. Make sure your makeup stays on. First, we're going to start with our brows. Using the NYX Brow Pencil. Brow is your pencil in espresso. It's got like a nice soft tip. really helps get those edges and curves and of your brow. We're going to use a stifling brush, and I've got the fanciest thing. I have the P. Louise eyeshadow base, and that's shade 6. That all under the brow, all the way to the lash line. I'm fancy as hell. I'm really a beauty blogger now. I have the P. Louise. This is the legendary eyeshadow base. And it is really cool. Like it does dry pretty fast. Now my eyes are like one flat canvas. You don't even need any powder or anything with this method either. You just put it on like that and it actually just like stays. Now we're gonna do some more brows. I'm gonna brow mascara from NYX and Espresso. Just like making them eyes pop, deep set eyes always. And now I'm starting my eye shadows. I'm using the palette by Jackie Aina and Anastasia Beverly Hills. The first color is called Zam, and that's about brow bone. So then we're going to use is called Edges. That's the first transition shade. It's a nice orange color there. Gonna look delicious. So I can use a nice brown color called Credit. And then go from the scent to the transition to the base of the eye. Using a blending brush, almost seem pretty like always. The main color is going to be Wigglies, and that's going to be just on the, my eye lid. That's what my eyelid was called. <laughs> just the eye lid. So I got Wigglies. It's a nice red color. I'm going to use my Maybelline pencil liner to make some boundaries for myself because you know. I don't have to do hands, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Just make sure you're getting them lines. I like to make them sure they're thick so I have it enough space so when I put on my lashes later. Very important details. Make sure we have. Now I'm gonna use my Morphe liner brush and my NYX glitter primer to make the for and my glitter because I'm the glitter queen I love glitter so much it's just badass like, what can I say now I'm gonna use my packer brush and I'm using the hip dot Rooney palette for pride and the color I'm using is called Ariel it's a nice red color oh uh, no I'm just kidding <laughs> Please pack it on. Try to keep seeing the lines. Try to not go too far into the crease. So you want to be able to see the difference between your eyelid and then also the other colors we use to make this look. And I'm taking way more time than it looks like. I'm just gonna speed up so I have time to do a video, but it's a lot more time than it looks like. And then we're using the Maybelline again to do under the eyes after we've got the glitter done. Gotta really get up in that waterline. Well, not in the waterline, but like on that line of the eye. Cause like my eyes are huge. Let's see, and I'm going over my top line with liquid liner. Cause that's how much I really wanna make sure I can see my line. <laughs> now I'm starting my face, I'm gonna use my brown sugar flush stick to cover up the scars so I had a really bad breakout as y'all know in quarantine now I'm going to do the full foundation so I'm using uh, well I'm not going to do that yet <laughs> I blend it out first I'm using my um, combo of deep golden and warm cool I'm putting that across the face the brown foundation brush 
Make sure I get everywhere around the eyes, trying to get my eyes, the hairline to the chin, down, making sure it all blends in. Okay, we got that all blended in. Now it's gonna contour. I'm using C11 from L'Oreal Coffee, and that's my contour color. Hidden them lines, like to make sure my nose looks contoured. Get the jaw for sure. Get a little bit thinner, maybe possibly get my forehead because look at how big my forehead is to watch a movie on it um i'm sure i really get i just use like a flat foundation brush i forget what that kind of brush is called but that's just when you use like a flat brush for the contouring but now we're gonna blend it out to look less like insane And then for the highlight, we're gonna use the Leche Flush Stick to get the parts that I really want you guys to pop my makeup. And I'm gonna use CoverGirl's Translucent Light Powder as the baking powder for this look. Okay, let's just bake it out. Bake it out. Make sure we get some highlights popping. Get that highlight popping. And now we're gonna set, we're gonna set it with the setting powder, medium deep from ColourPop. So we now have one consistent color. <laughs> Probably this is what I like to do. Not sure if it's right, but this is what I like to do so it looks like more natural. And I'm gonna just do some blush really quickly. We're gonna use Juvia's Place Sahara palette, blush palette volume two, and this color is called Sola. One of my favorites. One of my favorites. And now it's gonna make them eyes pop. I'm gonna use Credit. Make sure I highlight that top part and then we're gonna use it under the bottom. Try to give it a little bit more smoke, to make it a little bit sexy. Just really get that chocolatey goodness on there. Yeah. It's tricky doing it under the eyes because like it just is what it wants to do. Now I'm gonna use yeah. Now I'm gonna use wiggle leaves. Well not yeah, I use wiggle leaves as well. I don't remember when I did that. This color is called trusty shoes on the inner corner though. So make sure it looks all good. And more brown mascara and make sure that's on point. And I'm using the color Cold Brew from NYX Matte Suede Lipstick. It's a pretty color, nice neutral for darker skin women like myself. Then I'm using the Juvia's Place Heroin Palette. Not Heroin Palette, Heroin <laughs> Highlighter. So delicious. Yeah, make sure we get the highlight across the, the cheekbones and on our butt cupid bow. My face, a little bit on the chin. Just more natural, it hits your face. And I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Onliner setting spray. I'm gonna come back with my wig. Yay, my wig. And now I'm going to put on my Nox Nox Lash um, Magnet Eyeliner. See, so yeah, I let that dry first. I usually, and I did three coats this time. Just to make sure, like, I'm not sure if my line looks thick enough, like, to make sure. It's like, kind of paranoid sometimes. I can't lie about who I am, like, kind of paranoid sometimes. And I'm gonna use my Benefit They Are Real mascara. So I need my eyelashes to blend in with my fake lashes. I only really have real lashes that much. I'm gonna use bougie lashes from Moxie Lash. They're really thick and really cool. I love these lashes, they look so good. I mean, you should try to get it like a lash brush, lash, not a lash brush, a lash <laughs> a mirror if you can, because it helps you see so much better. Make sure they're on there good and tight. We got a nice, good, nice look that we like, and we are done. Now you look delicious and chocolatey. Well, I do. You will too once you do this look and use whatever glitter you like. And 
I really felt cute and I was so ready to film after that. Like, it was awesome. I love the pop of red. It looks good on like warm skin. And yeah, this is me doing what I love. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful. And you were still somewhat entertained even though it's just watching me doing makeup. I think my brows will be good though. Like my brows look really good. Like I'm, and then look at those lashes. Oh my gosh, those lashes are bomb. Well, yeah, check me out on Dom Boyesa uh, on Instagram, and then subscribe to my channel Dom Del Cielo. And it's great seeing you. Come back, subscribe below, join the party, join the party. Yeah, love ya.